Today, I signed an executive order that clarifies which, which businesses and sectors fall into phase two of our reopening strategy. The full list is available at mass.gov slash reopening. Effective today, businesses and organizations listed in phase two will be permitted to enter their establishments to start preparing for their opening while remaining closed to the public. Safety protocols must be observed during this process, but this lead time is important for preparations. The executive order also contains more information on the sectors that fall into phases three and four. We'll continue to put out more details and guidance as this reopening process continues, and we'll carefully monitor the data between today, June 1st, and June 6th, and then on the 6th, based on that data, make an announcement and a decision with respect to phase two. Today, we're releasing guidance for retail stores that will also be available at mass.gov slash reopening. Reopening certain businesses also requires our state to consider how to ramp up other critical services to support our workers and their families. Today, our administration will also release guidance for child care, recreational summer camps, and youth programs. These programs can reopen in phase two after submitting specific plans to EEC to ensure health and safety parameters for screenings and sanitization. These requirements also include safety protocols around transportation and food safety procedures. Recreational camps can operate with activity restrictions and limited openings for groups that are smaller than 12, which each camp allowed multiple groups of 12 campers. The full details for child care and camps are available at mass.gov reopening. I do want to say with respect to summer camps and child care, um, the amazing amount of work that the Lieutenant Governor, Secretary Sutters, Commissioner Sam, uh, Secretary Jim Pizer, and so many others in the field put into putting together a very comprehensive and we believe effective and implementable proposal with respect to how to open up child care and how to support summer camps. I think we all know how important both of those operations and enterprises are uh, to families here in the Commonwealth. Finally, over the weekend, the command center also submitted the details for our expanded testing proposal to the federal government. Utilizing $374 million in federal funding, the Commonwealth plans to increase lab testing capacity to 45,000 tests a day by the end of July, ensure on-demand access to testing for all symptomatic individuals, their close contacts, and high-risk populations, prepare a testing infrastructure for a potential second surge in the fall, and continue to operate a best-in-class contact tracing program. The command center will make more information on this proposal available at mass.gov slash COVID-19.